So let's talk about when you are solving a quadratic equation by taking the square root on both sides, what you have to be careful with. We have two equations on the spot. Notice that the left hand side of them are the same. But for the first one, we have this equals 25. And for the second one, we have this equals x. You know the deal. Please pause the video first and try them before you watch the solution and comment your answer or your work in the comment section down below. Done? Okay, let's get started with the first one. We have x inside squared is equal to a number. This is the time that we can take the square root on both sides. Just go ahead and do this. Do this. So that the square and the square root will cancel. And don't forget there is a plus or minus. And we'll end up with two equations. What we do is, we first worked out the inside, make it equal to positive square root of 25. And because we can work that out, so you do it. Square root of 25 is a 5. So make this equal to 5. Now, for the second one, the inside stays the same. But you will have the minus here and then square root of 25, which is a 5. So we have these two equations to solve. But they are not bad. For the first one, I'm just going to add 3 to both sides. So we have 4x equals 8, and then divide the 4 to both sides. So x equals 2. As of the second one, same thing, we add 3 to both sides. This is 4x equals, here we get negative 5 plus 3, which is negative 2. And then divide both sides by 4. x equals, we have negative 2 over 4. Reduce this by 2, by 2, right? So it's negative 1 half. And then we have it, we have these two answers, 2 and negative 1 half. Now, for the second one, can I do the same thing as the first one? No. If you take the square root, you end up with square root of x. Right? If you take the square root like this and like that, oh, you cancel this out, but you will still have x on both sides. No, that's not what we want. So don't do that. Here, we can only take the square root on both sides when we have a number on one side. But if you have x on both sides, then no. So how we have to do it is, we are going to multiply this out. And this is a special product, right? a minus b squared. Work that out first. So we will square the 4x. 4 squared is 16. And then x squared. And then this is a minus. And then we take 2 times 4x and 3. 2 times 4 is 8. Times 3 is 24. And then also put down the x. Lastly, we add 3 squared, which is 9. So special product. We use this a lot, so make sure you know the formula. And that is equal to x. Then we want to put one side to be 0, so that's minus x to both sides. So this is 16x squared minus 25x plus 9 equals 0. How do we solve this? By factoring. This is actually factorable. Here, let me show you. So let's do the tic-tac-toe factoring. For more practice, I will have another video in the description so you can see how to do this in detail. But here's how it goes. What times 12 give us 16x squared? I will tell you the correct combination is x and 16x. You might also want to try 2x and 8x or 4x and x. They are not going to work. This is going to work. Now to get positive 9, we need negative 1 and negative 9. Right? Not negative 3, negative 3. Negative 1 and negative 9. I'm going to put a negative 1 right here and negative 9 right here. This is correct. Why? Because we take this times this. x times negative 9 is negative 9x. Negative 1 Take that, multiply with, with 16x, we get negative 16x. So together, you see, 
they add up to be negative 25x. So that's the correct combination. Now, the factoring is x minus 1, you go across x minus 1, and next is 16x minus 9, and that's equal to 0. So you put the first factor now to be 0, and the first answer is x is equal to 1 after we add 1 to both sides. And then 16x minus 9 equal to 0. Add the 9 to both sides. Divide the 16 to both sides. So x equals 9 over 16. So here we have this 2 for the answer. So be careful. You have to think about what you have to use when you are solving equations. Hopefully this right here helps. For more practice, you can check out the description for more tutorials. That's it.